You know, when I brought up the idea of pleasure cruises, this isn't what I had in mind. Ha ha. Going on a pirate adventure. So yeah, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon. This may seem familiar to those that actually saw the demo of Ritual of the Night. This is pretty much the same level they showed off, the boat level. What? Are those things that are jumping out? Is that why you're playing as Miriam? Uh, nah, I just gonna. To be fair, I, either that's. I just chalked that up to coincidence. I was also gonna ask, like, was. Wait, so it, was it confirmed from the demo or that beta or whatever? Was that, like, to be the initial level or just a random level taken from the. Like, somewhere in the middle of the game? It's supposed to be the intro level. But, yeah, it's, are we just gonna ignore what those. Those were like I I don't even have words yeah. as to what they are. I just call them I just call them freaky mutant jellyfish. Mm. I mean this is oh, a boy. damn it G Bell. Ow. Wow. I only just got you like two levels ago and you just had to muck things up the moment you put on, put yourself on screen. No you done you done fucked it up. So, that said, this is actually a good time for me to show off this game's other gimmick, the Curse of the Moon. Basically, it lets you backtrack to other levels at your, at your leisure, at the cost of um, pretty much reversing all of your progress th by that by this point. Ooh. Huh. That's, that's definitely a gamble. I mean, it is handy if you accidentally missed out on any really big um, upgrades, like health ups or defense ups or so on and so forth. So, yeah, we're doing this all over again. I do want to ask, though, like, when you go back to those levels, if you do miss something, say you already did get, like, a health up, when you go back, will you will you lack that health up that you initially got, or will you still keep it? I think you, lo I think you lose the uh, power-up you got at the time. Oh, well. Like, basically, any, anything, honest, that, guys, anything that happened... Yes. I was going to say, to also simplify just a little bit close, just a little bit, like, further for hype... Basically, just think of it like a safe state. That's literally all you're doing. Uh, you're loading the safe state. You're yeah. You're loading up a really old safe state. Yeah. That's all it is. Although I will say it's kind of impressive that they're able to implement it in such a way. Oh yeah. Yeah. Again, it's 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 a it's a convenient means of if you want if you're missing something or if you feel like you fucked up a fucked up this, of this particular session, want to start over from scratch. Is it uh is it at all is it at all confirmed whether or not this ah, one will appear in the oh, full game? Guys, it's the skeleton dragon heads from the wall. Trademarked. And they're dead. But yeah, no, is it at all uh, revealed if these are gonna be careful? That's a very risky one up. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'll take my chances. There you are. But um, is it at all exactly... is it at all revealed is it at all revealed if this kind of like Safe state functionality will be in the actual like cur in the actual ritual of the night. I strongly doubt it. It was it was mainly built for the sake of this game. Gotcha. I see. Um, one thing I'm kind of curious about is that the whole you know being cautious about you being turned to a bat and whatnot. Um, unless I missed it, what exactly is your indicator of whether you're about to turn back to a human? Your weapon points. Yeah. Okay. Using sticking to bat form c consumes weapon points. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, again, that's really all G-Bell has to his name, otherwise he can't use any sub-weapons, but say if you're really hankering for any, um, hankering for any, uh, weapon points, that's where G-Bell comes in. Hmm. Or, I could just use Miriam to get the sub-weapon I needed, but otherwise, like I said before, you can use G-Bell, like, use the, uh, triple bat power-up in order to, um, ah. take out the purple lights and you get extra, or extra weapon points. Also, that's that way strange, yeah. Also, now I am curious, is the main villain of this game G-Bell's name backwards? Uh, <laughs> what is his name no. backwards again? Fleabag! Ah. <gasps> it's a spooky picture. Spooky. Is this our boss? Um, I don't think, unlike the um, one from um, Rondo of Blood, I don't think that this one can instant kill you. But it can hurt. Quick, you have to... Okay, go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good, we cancel that commission. <laughs> the good riddance. That was a close one. Don't worry, James would love if all my commissions I ever did for him were canceled. Oh, hush. Goodness me, no. It's the your character here things that are the problem. That reminds me, you still owe me that ten bucks. I know, I need to do that. Where did you say... Hey, you still owe Matt that ten bucks for saying something good about Matt Pat. If it wasn't for the fact that it's kind of the holiday season, I have all my bills to pay this week. I would have done it by now. <laughs> That's fair. I need to like do. I need to do Christmas shopping. 
Christmas shopping, I need to get around to making Christmas gifts. Like, I hand make my gifts. Tis the season to wreck the shit out of space jellyfish thingies with bats. Mm-hmm. Careful. Oh, oh. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, through the door we find... Ooh, another hard vessel. And another Durgan. Good thing I have the man for the job. Nope. <laughs> the fucking old man! Fuck it! Is this a game that uh, you have ever... Do you think there's much replayability to this game? Oh, dude, yeah, like, again, there's multiple ways you can go through this game, like, you can you can recruit all your friends, you can just say, oh. fuck them, and just go on your merry way, or you can kill them and steal their soul for additional power-ups. Um, I, I kind of want to ask, like, unless it's already been answered, um, aside from that risky curse thing that's basically state, save states, aside from that, are there any other ways of replaying levels? Um, starting the game over. Yeah. Okay. That's really all you. Ha that's all you. That's all you really can do. I mean, this game is most, for the most part, pretty much structured exactly like a uh, NES classic, Va classic Vania, and well, it clearly shows. Gotcha. Yeah. Did you just say classic Vania? Classic Vania. Yeah. That's what. The, that's what. The, that's what the term is. Classic Vania. Is, are there any different physics out here with all this rain and wind? Uh, there are wind physics. Yes. Oh boy. I don't know Not why. Nothing <laughs> strong though, so rest assured. I don't know why, but you saying classic Vania now I'm trying to think of like Classicoid or whatever classic Metroid is compared to other Metroid. At that point you just call him call it a Metroid. <laughs> Take that <sighs> I just imagine I can just imagine being all like Come on Yeah, I got you, you whippersnapper, I'm gonna whack you with my beaten stick. Careful. Now go and you're gonna get it, you rotten little snot-nosed bread. I'm gonna bend you over and spank the ever-loving daylights out of you. <laughs> oh, careful. Man, all of He just keeps on going giant... on and on until he actually whoops him. Man, this giant <laughs> ship with so much water... Oh, goodness. Hey, the messenger... The messenger needs that lamp. No. Oh. I, I'm trying to remember what game it was. Oh, actually, I remember. It's Monkey Island 2. It's the scene where you kick the can and the chef is, like, chasing after you, yelling at you, and it's like, no matter where you go, he's still going after you. It's like, rah, 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 as I was saying, rah, 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 rah. I remember. <laughs> so I probably should have brought this up earlier, but that little green lantern we just whipped actually has one of, a very special power-up that's exclusive to Malfred. It's Electricity! <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh, we're trapped. <gasps> and we're about to use it on a rather electrifying peacock oh boy. thingy. But it's raining. Won't it end up hurting both of us? Like I said, an electrifying peacock thingy. How I don't do know what to call it. How do you control that thing? Oh, the electricity? That's a it's an it's an auto it's auto aim. Wow. Also, I just wanna say very very wonderful tactitious strategy to use lightning in the middle of a rainstorm. Magical lightning light. Magical lightning. Careful. Oh, oh no! no. It's, it's the storm. That, what was the name of Storm Eagle's weapon again? Storm tornado. Storm tornado. Storm tornado. Copyright, copyright marked, whatever. Copy in the mark of could, the right. In a way, this guy may as well be a fucking storm tor tornado. Or, oh. Whoop, whoop. You know, Storm Eagle wannabe. There. Okay. Is there you at all a um... stop with those winds, whippersnapper? You're messing up my do. No, 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 Is no, it no. possible to lose this really awesome power we just came, gained with Alfred? Uh, you could die as Alfred. Yeah. Let's not do that. I like this. Anyway, hold on. Yeah. Oh, by the way, for those that have that that, that no, no. no epilepsy, oh. might want to close your eyes. Might want oh. what now? Close your eyes. This music and sound effects is too loud. Hype can't hear a thing. What the? Oh, see, oh, that's, that's that. Oh, that's right. It was the desperation attack. And I think that is the castle we're trying to reach. Yep. Hey, that be not Castlevania. You have arrived at your destination. What's with the giant shark fin on the side? I think it needs a giant shark fin. It looks cool. Also, it looks more like a bat wing. But welcome to Wily oh, Castle One. Yep. You thought the game would be over just with five levels? Screw that. We still have our Castlevania to trek through. Well, yeah. Let's not to mention we have. Not counting this, two more parts. Right. Careful. 
So yeah, the rest of the game pretty much takes place in this castle, Careful. and it has pretty much all the tricks of the trade. Including mm -hmm. Sinistar. Yes, Run. including Sinistar. And Two Shield Sinistars. Man. Oh, Ooh. ow. By the way, I do like that that little detail that um, every um, character does have like a like the like a muffled like a muffled clip, kind of like it was like straight from a Famicom. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. What is that wow. thing? What sight? That right that there helpful. is a strength up. <gasps> oh, that thing. Nice. Miriam. Also, oh, oh that's what the Infinity Gauntlet oh, is. Uh, Alfred's. Alfred's electricity power. Nice. Uh, now, can we gain that a power? Can we gain such special powers for anyone else? Unfortunately, for some odd reason, the Green Lanterns are exclusive to Alfred. Mm -hmm. Oh well. I mean, granted, the others can break, the others can break them, but you just can't reap the benefits. Well, that took effort. I mean, I guess it's a makeup for the fact that without without his silly magic, Alfred is pretty much just an old man with a beaten stick. <laughs> I assure you, this beaten stick has been able to beat up a lot of people. I wouldn't be surprised if there actually are people out there that actually do try Ooh. to do uh, strict, uh, uh, strict Alfred runs. Which, which, watch out for these enemies, they come straight from Undertale. Ooh. Not that big dog, okay, they're dead. Actually, I was about to say, um, I know there's some enemy I'm thinking of that's like that one of the Castlevanias, where they just arc axes like that. Like, is there an enemy like that in the games? Oh, the Axe Knights? You're thinking of the Boomerang Axe Knights. Okay. But but the but the whole joke is that they're actually not throwing them like boomerangs, they're actually throwing them like Simon would. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's one di uh, particular um, Axe Knight character that, uh, well, for one thing, she's actually a playable character, and, well, yes, it's a she. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, Interesting. Uh, Portrait of Rune, I think, is where she made her uh, debut. Gotcha. It's basically just you playing as a random um, Axe Knight, for, like, model straight from the Rondo games, and, well, it's about as awkward as you think it is. Well, I was gonna say, that actually does sound, that actually does sound cool to me, the idea of, like, one of the, you know, the kind of, like, um, what's the word, also, well, yeah, just in case you didn't, you weren't aware that these, that these Axe Blades and those, what the heck was that? Ouch! Oh, what was that thing? What the electricity? I just no. Speed those things are the like freaking ceiling. Ah! Oh boy. Those things actually Bye, look scary. Devil. I just call them mutated rats. <sighs> Jesus. Well, I was gonna say yeah. Just in case you didn't think those saw blades were threatening enough. Let's just hey, try useless metal. piece of shit. Guess we're gonna have to do it ourselves, then. But yeah, I was gonna say um, that I like the idea that there being a game where like you know it's a it's an enemy it's someone who worked for Dracula who just is like you know I don't like this. <laughs> I mean, it'd be um, nice if they did it more often. I was also going to say real quick, um, there might be a game that's done this, and if there is, I apologize and feel free to t let me know about it. But has there ever been a Castlevania game where you ever played as, like, a female Belmont? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sonia from yeah, um, Sonya. Castlevania Legends. Okay. I thought that one wasn't released. Yeah, that is unfortunately not canon. Yeah. Oh. Never understood. Not quite sure why they why this decided to make it non-canon. Just maybe because it uh, conflicted with. Um, well, oh. it's not. Yeah, it's not that great of a game. Just it's a Game Boy game. Uh, Has there ever been a really really bad game that we had to accept as canon? Sonic 6? I think he means within Castlevania. No, no, no and and us and no, and actually Sonic 6 can't count anymore. Remember now? Oop. Now it's been retconned. It's all that to Crisis City and Generations. But yeah, uh, the I think the question you meant was like in Castlevania is there a game that's bad, but we still had to accept as canon. No, no, no. Actually, I was just saying like in general, are, are, what other kind oh. of games are there that nobody likes, but we have to accept happened, and the game and the game developer didn't just like leave it be. Uh, I guess it, it, depending on how you look at it, Star Fox Zero. <laughs> I don't think it was that bad. Well, I don't either. I just know there's people. I just know there's people that would prefer that it just went the way of the dodo. Uh, actually, I think a better example would be Star Fox Adventures. I can see mm, that. I, don't, I wouldn't call that, that a bad game though. It's just okay. It's a flawed game, and many people pan. And it was oh yeah, by the way, we have we have fucking bunny girls as enemies. Are they succubi uh, kind of thing, or uh, they may as well be succubi as far as I know. Uh, I think some. I think something slipped over from so from Shantae. Just a smidgen. Actually, yeah, yeah they do smidgen. have a similar they do have a similar moveset to the Succubi with the charging and stuff. 
-hmm. and they have the whipping tails and the whip, the whipping tails and the teeth plus the venom. Definitely, uh, definitely a uh, big definitely, advantage. Definitely, yeah, there's a big advantage in this fight, I guess. Yeah. Well, geez, well, now it's good to know that even that Kogi still has a sense of humor. Careful. I'm just saying, non valence you gotta turn the other cheek. In fact, turn both of them and run. News, hold cheek, Miriam, hold cheek! So, mm. do, so what's your favorite weapon for each character and why? If we haven't already established that by now. Um, but Zangetsu, I got a lot of I got a lot of use out of his um his not uh holy water. Nice. The black hole the black hole thing. And eh, this would have been much wow. easier if I actually had Alfred on me. We need Alfred for that one. So no, I'm, I... I'm just stuck with I'm just stuck with the I'm just stuck with Snake. And I do see okay, careful, James. And I do like the idea of looking at this where it's like I can see, like, this is what you meant, like, the game can be played multiple ways. If we had Alfred, we could have survived to go up that path, but we don't, so we have to go this way now. And the sad thing is, that would have just led us to a shortcut. Man. So now we gotta go the long way. Okay, never mind. Alright, we gotta take now that shortcut now, everybody. And you're dead. So, where do we revive with all our lives? Uh, a previous, previously determined checkpoint. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Not I thought that, I thought, but so, I thought with something as forgiving as that, we would have, like, you essentially get four lives for each life you have. I was gonna say I thought they would have like. Only thing, only thing is that um, the only thing is that um, the predetermined checkpoint they put you to, like when you lose all the characters, isn't always exactly the same. Isn't always the same. Like sometimes they take you James? a little further back than they would respawn you. Oh, when you more weapon points, that's why. Uh, yeah, I don't have any weapon points, so I activate yeah. the fire shield. So nice. let me go get some. Oh cool! Oh, 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 there you go. Oh, you can act. Oh, you can backtrack in this one. Yes. Oh, that's right, Castlevania 3. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Give me a second here. There we go. You haven't defeated me. Hey. You shall not pass, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's our shortcut. Nice. There that's you have it. it. We just get one room. Yay. But yeah, just for some reason, now I'm thinking of like... Oh, oh these guys are free. Oh, oh gosh, oh, it's Clock Tower. God, Scissormen. Yeah, it's Clock Tower. Oh, oh gosh, they're fast. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I was about to say, just now I'm just imagining like a reversal of that one infamous one of Gamelon scene where it's like, You killed me! Good! Good! <laughs> Finally, I've done something right! Was he supposed to be a whiz robe in that game? Uh. Maybe? Hello, yeah, giant shield them. man. Oh, what the. Big man! Oh, oh okay, uh, that's he's Thor! That's our, uh, yeah, that's our Axe, axe Knight. That's our boy. But, but hey, you know what? Nothing can stop my firewall. Okay, except for that. Take back what I said, you fucking Medusa rejects. You cannot stop me, Alfred, heir to the throne of geriatrics. <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> Alfred, heir to the throne of Pennyworths. By the way, it's a good thing I switched out of Alfred, because, uh, what the? we just stumbled Ooh. into. Excuse me, sir. I'm in the middle of a bath. A blood a bath. By the way, that dress is made out of the blood she was just soaking in. Behold, Man. Bloody Mary. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. That's uh, I get it. the whole joke of like you have to say her name in a bathroom, and thus here we are. That's clever. Mm. Is this character uh, appearing I don't in the full game? Her actual name is Bloody Mary. I was just saying. Bloody if it is, then then kudos to them for keeping it. No, well, I, would, I was I about to like, say, I would have totally, I would love that. Oh, watch out! Whoop! Because oh, she can rain, she can make blood rain. <laughs> but yeah, what I was actually the, not the game, it's an actual attack. Done. Oh, what I was about to say was that like I was thinking like she wasn't even like just trying to actively stop you or anything. She literally just was taking a bath, and you're just walking in on her like a prude. Oh, jeez. Oop. How do we dodge that? I'm not sure how you're supposed to dodge the that. The only guess I could come up with, the only idea that I could come up with, would be that you had to. Well, I don't know how to. Pa I don't know how to get past the tornado on its first pass through. But the only way I could think of to dodge that attack would be to throw an attack or hit her head in the tornado before it reaches you. To stun her. That's the best guess I have. And um, I don't. I forget who said it. Asked it. Asked this. But yes, yeah, she will be in the actual game. Nice, that was, yeah, because yeah, cool, that's a cool design. I think they showed her off showed her off in an earlier trailer, but um, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're not quite done with uh, Not-Sylvania. Stay tuned for the quote-unquote finale. Yay! Bye. 
Rude.